everybody, this is Brian from Carving is Fun, and today we're going to make a little squirrel at a piece of basswood. Now I've already roughed them out with my carving knife. If you have yourself a bandsaw, it will make it a lot easier to do. Um, mine is currently not working, so I have to make do with just a knife. But it's still relatively easy enough to do. Let's start from this side. Start outlining the the tail and like the head and the legs. So let's see. They have these back leg haunches that are kind of like that. And the arms, they go up a little bit towards the torso. There we go. So I think, yeah, I think I'm going to do it about there. That's a little bit more on that side. They usually have those big fluffy tails anyway, so. Yeah, that's good. Let's do the other side. See if I can copy the same pattern. Look pretty good. Bring this one down a little bit. That looks good. Alright, now that I have the tail somewhat blocked off, let's do, let's define a little bit of like the haunches there and the legs. So. Like I said, the arms are going to be going in, and we'll do that here in a little bit, but let's, let's get the head going, go along with the back a little. even out the other side. Alright, now with that a little bit more roughed out we can kind of see where where everything's at. Alright, from here yeah, let's start working on the tail a little bit, get that defined the way that we want it. So we know it goes down there. It probably does not need to come all the way down here. I'm probably going to taper it off to about right, I don't know, maybe right there. But we'll do that here in, in a sec. Let's get, get it separated from the body enough. Now if you all have ever seen like squirrels in different parts of the country, like down here in Florida, our squirrels are scrawny and scrappy looking. They're very skinny, and even some of the, sometimes the tails are not nearly very puffy. They're kind of 
coarsely furred. But like, like when I go up to other states up north, like I was up in South Carolina, Carolina a little while ago, squirrels up there are all fat and really, really furry, and their tails are super plush. Yeah, my wife and I are always just amused when we look and compare the squirrels from other states to the ones that we get in the front yard. Like the ones in Washington, oh man, those ones are just like super, super fluffy and, and little chubby squirrels. It's really cute. Alright, so let's taper this in a little bit here. nearly shaped the way I want it. We'll come back at the end and touch it up with uh, make it smoother. For now just block it out. Let's start from the head and go down here. So let's see. Squirrels have more of a pointed face so let's let's bring in the nose a little. And part of his face is going to be obscured by the hands because make it look like he's chewing on something there. Now you can also leave room for eyes if you want to do that. I usually don't do it, partially because I'm really bad at it. And two, I do like like the more smooth kind of look without all the extra details. It just, I don't know, I kind of like them a little bit better. They're more just simple and kind of nice. There we go. Let's see. Let me get some ears going in here. Let's angle this towards the front a little bit more because usually animals ears are point pointed towards the front not necessarily just the sides. Yeah. Move this side a little bit more. Nope, maybe a little too much. Well, no, I'm just trying to even it up. Good enough. Alright, so I'm going to split it about there in the middle. Alright, so now that's that. Let's start rounding ears towards the back of the head here. Alright, and just a little bit right here. Let's see. Maybe a little push cut and go down. Right, so let's see. The head and the neck, let's let's bring it in a little bit. Good for now. All right. Now let's let's work on the front, the front hands here. Now, I, like I said earlier, the arms are going to come in to taper up towards the front, like it's chewing on something. So let's get that going inwards. Make it look like it's going up to the face, but separate the arms from the face a little bit more. And 
this is where kind of like a detail knife like this would comes in handy because if I was using the bigger one like if I was using my bigger knife I probably the reason why I have this tape right here is so I can choke up on it so I can really just get in there with the, the tip of the blade but with a smaller knife it's easier just to hold on to the whole thing this will work a little bit better a little bit better there. All right, I'm round it up towards the front. All right, let's start doing the front feet a little bit. I know they have more of a wide stance to them, but I don't think they're all the way out to the side. At least their feet aren't. Let's, let's taper the feet down a little bit. And let's make one foot there and one foot there. That looks about right. What did you find there, kitty? Hmm? What did you find? What are you chasing? <laughs> oh, cats. Sometimes that's where cats just see things and they chase it. All right, now we got the basic outline of them. Let's start cleaning them up a little bit and then we'll call it done. Let's start with the, the back side, but first let's clean up the work area, just the hair. And do a little bit of a strop on this one. Separate the tail from the body back here a little bit more. I wonder if I can add a little bit of a nose. That'd be really cute if I can do that. A little stop cut there. Or just take off the entire face. Yeah, that works too. Well, now it looks like it's looking down more, so. Let's see if I can actually do it without goofing up here now. Sometimes you're going to mess up. Sometimes you'll do it at the beginning of your sculpture. Sometimes you'll do it at the end. It doesn't matter. There we go. Alright, now let's do the feet and then let's we'll start working on the base. Alright, now that we have that going on there, I'm going to round off the front a little bit and then we're going to round off the front of the toes so that the feet look more like feet. Alright, so make it a little bit more curved. Alright. Alright, so I guess too if we want to we can have some little 
toe cuts. I mean, it's not going to do much in there. Alright, so we have a little squirrel. Now, what is he going to be sitting on? I'm thinking more like a, a stump kind of deal. How do I want to do this? I think what I'm going to do... I'll do it on this side. I'll have like a little notch in the the log sticking out there, but the rest of it's all going to be rounded. Now, I'm not going to make the log perfect. I mean, in nature, logs aren't perfect. Some of them are more, what, oval shaped rather than perfectly round, so that's probably what this is going to end up being. start doing a little notch in the logs. So what I'm going to do is put a extra little chunk on either side. Do some like little wedge cuts in there. Yeah, just like that. That needs that a little bit more. Yeah, that looks good. Then what we're gonna do is round that off like we did with the, kind of like what we did with the feet, but make it look like a little stump sticking out. probably just clear up or round up the, the nub and just the hair so it's not like a block sticking out. It just look a little bit more organic. There. And then probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten the top part here up to the squirrel just to make a nice little solid base that looks like it's sitting on. Make sure we still define the bottom of the, the squirrel base. Since we lowered the, the the shelf that it's sitting on, it might change up your the the outline on the bottom there. So let's touch that up a little bit. And then, yeah, we can probably just do a little bit up in here. All right, cool. I'm going to call that done for right now. Yeah, I like the way it is. He's a little bit... He's a little simple squirrel. Nothing too crazy. Like I said before, I don't usually like to add a lot of detail to him. I like the simple look of some of the sculptures. Yeah, there we go. Smooth up some of the the log. And then I think I'm going to call it done. I think it looks good. I might go back over it later on with the, a rehone knife to make sure everything's nice and smooth, but for the most part, I think that's good. All right, thank you for watching, guys. If you want to see more of my sculptures, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. I got more of them that I'll be rolling out later on. 
All right. Thanks for watching, everybody, and hope you have yourself a good day.